Manchester United 3, Newcastle 2, and the United Twins need to speak about it. United, United. Second to last game of the Premier League season final match at Old Trafford. It was really an announcement for some. A personification of how this season has seen ups and downs for others and of course towards the end a chance to potentially reset getting closer into what is the biggest game of this campaign the fa cup final of course now i myself am already in the mode of wanting to see what happens during this summer because things are slowly starting to heat up we got the news of rafael Varane leaving earlier this week anthony martial a while back and can i just say really quickly on tony time flies man you think about 2015 when he came in what were, what were you guys and girls doing in 2015 yes. his winner against liverpool wow. fa cup semi-final winner against everton and that's the season we go on to win it i mean the top class goal against juventus and uh, what uh, a picture by the way yo man come on in all seriousness there have been rumors of other players also so we'll, we'll have to we'll have to wait and see to be honest it is important how you invest or reinvest in the sales that you make ultimately the new structure when form will be scrutinized based upon the shortcomings of previous regimes and i can only hope that there's a level of legitimacy to what we will be doing in order to once again reset this squad over time and also transform the many intricacies on and off the pitch that contribute to creating a winning culture. Luxia, we all spoke about this after the Arsenal game. Amagiallo got yet another start today and he was the shining light of our performance. Brilliant. Almost everything he touched on that right hand side looked to threat and it, it does make us all ask the question, why wasn't he given the opportunity before? Think about the shortcomings we've experienced on that right hand side with the Jaden Sancho situation of course, Anthony's situation and then coming back to struggle as is. Not to say he hasn't had some decent performances but for the most part he wasn't affecting wins and losses on a weekly basis in a positive manner I will say. Marcus Rashford played some games out there and so did Garnacho too. We've seen Bruno, we've seen Mount, you guys get the point so many options we like think about it. so many options were considered before amagiello so i'm happy to see that even if it is towards the end of this campaign he can come in he can make an impact show eric ten hagen potentially prove to himself on a bigger level that he can grow into being an integral part of this team yeah his slivering pass to kobe what a link up by the way for the first goal found the right pocket of space and of course multiple defenders just hesitated to clear the ball to put their foot through it but i believe at the time and still now that was a defense opening pass fine margins and his goal was well taken picks up a good position near the edge of the area and he has to react extremely quickly once the ball bounces out from the the initial clearance the headed clearance pure and potent straight to the point and oh did he have something to say did he have a point to prove and he's proved it over these last two games mm -hmm. no doubt about it now when we start to think about that right hand side we, we've heard some murmurs of potential signings some people already asking online is, is that the situation sorted i'm sure on uh, questions will be answered during the summer Amagiallo is staking a claim right now. It was good to see Rasmus Hoyland come off the bench and get his goal also. Apologies everyone. In true Manchester United fashion, you can never make it easy for yourself. We saw that at the beginning of the second half where we came out a little frantic and lackadaisical. Newcastle may have hit us with some, some more harsh truth even after their equaliser and how would we be speaking about this game if Lewis Hall's strike at the end ended up being an equaliser instead of late hope or even a consolation in the 92nd minute back to Rasmus however because I do believe that some of the criticism he has gotten is unfair on him based upon his current skill set 
and the situation he found himself in from day one. It astonishes me to see these stories by members of the media who honestly seem to be moles ready to spew negativity at the most convenient of times. Players don't want to pass to him. Some don't like him. I mean, come on. The perspective I have is that because he was expected to be the main starting forward, expectations were instantly elevated. Then he found form in the Champions League, went through these barren spells and does look like at times he has struggled to feel integrated. But which number nine in the last decade or so has looked a part of this squad? Um, maybe I shouldn't say decade because there are some strikers. Yeah. Say last five years or so. Yeah. When it comes to this hold up play, link up aerial duels movement in and around the area he can improve don't get me wrong sure i would like to see him move into the channels more and that is also about creating a dynamic front three that is interchangeable coaching must improve and he needs to be coached ultimately to unlock and perfect those talents turn them into reliable skills some really interesting points brought up by yourself cm and and anything you want to have your own opinion on let us know in the comment section we will be replying each and every what to each and every comment you got nothing else to do kind of well listen 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 shout out to cm he be holding it down come on I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a busy guy gotta keep up the mystique and all of that stuff but just wanted to keep it short and snappy as you guys have noticed We've kind of been doing a light rebrand. We redecorated the office. We, we've been changing and, and switching the thumbnails left, right and center. We heard on YouTube there's going to be this new A-B testing thing. So I guess we can try out multiple different thumbnails, see what sticks, see what works. Let us know if you like the new thumbnails, the new decorations around the office and all of that stuff there. And obviously the web, webcams that we use to speak remotely. You kind of added a little design there to, to differentiate the situation and, and bring it up a little more. Um, but looking ahead, Manchester United, two crucial, crucial games to go. Last one on Sunday, the 19th against Brighton. And then six days later, the FA Cup final, the Manchester Derby rematch. In the FA Cup final will be a big game. If you heard or saw Eric Ten Hag's speech, the traditional speech that each Manchester United manager gives at the final home game of the league season, it was almost a, a rallying cry. You could tell he was thinking about how he wanted to deliver the things that he would, would, would go on to say in order to galvanize the fans even more to make them more rowdy to, to make them more loud to make them want to support this team and ultimately he took a big risk by saying this team will try their best they will give their all in order to make sure that they bring the fa cup back to old trafford but it's something that he needed to do the players need to keep their end of the bargain because the last few weeks what i've seen from the fans loss after loss really from that crystal palace game arsenal game they have been supporting this team they've been supporting they've been spurring them on they've been a 12th man so now it's time for the players to hold up their end of the bargain it has not been a good season at all you get your win today against newcastle congratulations now it's on to brighton and then it's on to the fa cup final can we get two wins out of two to end the season Maybe a little too much to ask for, I know. Am I being a little too optimistic? Let me know in the comment section below. But it is a big end to the season for Eric Ten Hag with all the things we've been hearing in regards to a decision being made in a fortnight, whether that's true or not. By the Ineos, they've had their little meeting apparently in Monaco discussing a, a multitude of things and, and what they plan to do when it's all, all stations go. So we'll have to see what happens once again. We, we, we keep on saying this is a theme. Wait and Come see on. FC. Because when you when you get too giddy. When you get too giddy about certain situations. You only set yourself up for the ultimate 
level of disrespect and failure. <clears throat> Damn, failure. Let me say that again. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you go and check out CM's article on the game, cm22ent.co.uk. If you've enjoyed this match reaction, hit a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Share to your friends and frenemies. Apologies, info news as if I hurt you. We'll see you lot soon. Should let me do the outro more often. <laughs>